Good morning. Happy Sunday. Okay, I'm just going to take a second to get this up on my computer screen and give you all a second to jump on for those that are catching this live. Okay, almost there. There we go. All right. So we've got this there. We're going to share this. Oh, stuff looks different on Facebook right now. Um, what's happening here? Good morning, Aviva. Good morning, Janice. Why does this look so weird? Okay, hold on. More options. Share to a group. There we go. Just when I feel like I've figured out Facebook, they go ahead and change something. <laughs> All right, I think we are good. Okay, so please keep saying hello and good morning as you're jumping on. Hey, everybody. Hi, friends. Um, I today So every Sunday morning, we do coffee in a card. But today, for me, it's water in a card because I am nursing the worst headache today. Um, I had my second vaccine dose on Thursday and I'd heard that it like you can feel it a little bit more with the second dose but man it's been three days and the first day I the day I got it I felt okay a little bit of arm soreness second day had a little bit of a fever was just really tired and a bit achy and then I woke up yesterday and I felt like I had been hit by a truck <laughs> so thankfully I had Advil and um, Tylenol I was alternating all day because I had a huge event for 70 plus demonstrators it was a training and stamping event and then I was feeling okay last night but I did wake up with a little bit of a headache so this morning is water in a card um <laughs> thank you Janice Janice says I've heard some changes just to make your day beautiful you can do it. Yes, thank you. We'll figure it out together. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Heidi. Hello, Shams. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Margaret Ann. Hello, Aviva, Janice. Hi, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing well. Good morning, Nicole. Um, so yeah, it was a, a busy weekend and just like trying to like nurse what felt like the flu. Um, you had a bad headache for three days. Okay, so I've got like Tylenol and Advil sitting right next to me. I haven't taken any yet today, but I have switched from coffee to water because I feel like maybe hydrating is is the trick here. I need to like stay hydrated. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Heather. So many friends hanging out today. Hi, everyone. Okay, I just suddenly started to feel better. Hi, Teresa. Thanks. Thanks for validating what I'm feeling today. So I like I will absolutely like there's no regrets i'm grateful for having had my second shot but oh man does it kind of kick your butt and raheem and i my husband and i were supposed to actually be getting our vac second doses yesterday uh, tomorrow we were both booked in for monday and then i just kind of had this weird feeling that maybe we shouldn't book it on the same day so then i ended up getting another appointment a bit earlier and he's like no no it's fine we should just go together and i was like no just in case you know you know the man flu stuff <laughs> Although, I don't know what you call I had the mom flu yesterday, so I was like feeling pretty uh, under the weather. But anyway, it's a good thing we booked it on de different days because I think I'm starting to feel better. And I have a feeling he might not know what hit him. So anyway, good morning, Gloria. Hi, Shiros. Oh, it's so nice to see everybody. Okay, hopefully by tomorrow I should be on the mend. Yes, I hope so. Good morning, Carol Ann. Nice to see your face. I see your little profile pic and your name. Thank you so much. Okay, let me tell you what we're doing today. Um, it's coffee and a card. I'm doing one card today, but there are some a few things going on with this card. So it, it'll be like, you'll see some different tools being used and we're using one of my favorite bundles in the new annual catalog called Plentiful Plants. Now I wanna talk a little bit about plants because um, I am not actually like a, a plant person. I said this before, like I don't actually, um, I'm not really into gardening. I don't keep a lot of house plants just because I haven't really, I it's just, I'd rather spend my time crafting it's so bad but 
having gotten this bundle and just seeing all the trends right now with plants and stuff like I'm starting to feel the urge so I would love to know for those of you that have house plants if you can tell me uh, which are your faves and which are like low maintenance like which ones are really hard to kill like I want to know the ones that are the easiest to keep alive because I'm trying to keep four humans alive in my house still right now so I would love to hear about your house plants and what you'd recommend okay black thumb Aviva maybe we'll learn together today so I kind of feel like even though I'm not really like into keeping plants alive like real plants alive I can still craft with them and so that's what we're gonna be doing today so um, hey Jamie hey Natalie and um, so and, and I want to like I'm gonna be making a card with our plentiful plant suite and I think you guys are gonna love it I love it um, and it's inspired by Stampin Elegance on Instagram although I've changed mine up a little bit and um, I don't know I'm like in love with the card I'm in love with the suite and I am feeling like I kind of want to start having plants in my house so tell me about your favorite plants and um, what you might recommend for me because I'm, I'm kind of starting to get the the urge Okay, so let me flip the camera down. We'll talk about a few things and then we will get started with our crafting. So hang on a second and keep chatting. I love hearing you guys. Hopefully this will all work. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, my friend. Okay, hello, everybody. All right, let's straighten this out. And then, you know, I always have to try and stay within the confines of my grid paper. And then someone will tell me if I am, you know, missing from the, the screen. Okay, I think we're good. And I'll keep an eye on my computer here so that I can also see what's happening in your view. And we're, we're going to hope that the um, internet stays, you know, where it's supposed to. And that we can get through today without any glitches. Okay, so let's talk first about the Plentiful Plant Suite or uh, sorry, the suite is called Bloom Where You're Planted. And you can find this in our annual catalog on page 81. And let's talk a little bit about what's included in this suite. So when Stampin' Up! puts together suites, they now have a code that allows you to order everything in the suite. So when you open the catalog and you see this code here, if you enter this in, 155699, you will get all of the items that are listed below in this suite, okay? So you will get the Plentiful Plants Bundle. So that is the stamp set. This is a 15 stamp photopolymer stamp set. And photopolymer means that it's clear all the way through, which makes it really easy to do some layering, which you might want to do because of, you know, it has pots and then it's got plants and, you know, different leaves and foliage that you might want to use. So having it be photopolymer allows you to see through and, and place your stamps correctly. And then we've got some really amazing greetings. So this one here says a little note with the biggest thanks. You were there and I'm very grateful. Thank you. To a dear friend, love you, you touched my heart so very much. So it's really nice because, um, again, I always love stamp sets where you can kind of cover yourself for a multitude of different occasions and reasons for making a card. And I feel like this one definitely does that. So while it doesn't necessarily have a happy birthday, I think, you know, to a dear friend um, is a really nice way or telling someone you love them so very much, like just really nice greetings in here. Now, this stamp set also has coordinating dies. So when you see bundle, then usually it means it coordinates with a, a set of dies or a punch. So this one coordinates with the Perfect Plants dies. And this die set has 14 dies. Some of them will cut out the actual images in the stamp set, which is amazing. And then we have these other die cuts that will do like this macrame plant holder or hanger, um, a little sort of, you could make this look like a metal plant pot. Then there are some other um, leafy dies and then these really cool um, detailed pots that you can use or bowls. So really, really neat. And I love the dies in here. So you'll get to see some of that in use today. And then this also, the, the one sweet code ordering also includes the Bloom Where You're Planted designer series paper. I am now opening my third pack. I love this. I use this for um, my team swaps and um, some other Father's Day cards that I did. So I'm now opening my third pack and I, I'm opening it because I want you to see all of the different patterns in here, okay? 
Um, my comments are not updating on my computer. Just give me one second because I need to figure this out. Hmm. Yeah, Facebook has definitely gone and changed something on me and I cannot... I cannot see your comments in real time, so I'm gonna have to like maybe check my phone every now and then. Okay, I can see it in a different view. Uh, it's really weird, I don't know. Uh, good morning, Debbie. Uh, I wish I could see everybody's comments. Oh, there we are. Okay, you can't choose one plant. I'm asking people to tell me, make recommendations for me for plants that I can actually, <laughs> can actually keep alive. Otherwise, it'll all just be paper plants, okay? So help me out here. Um, so we've got this pattern here, which has all sorts of different plants. Now there are not any dyes that will cut out the whole plant per se, but some of the dyes will cut out the pots on here, I believe. And then on the back side, you have this cool sort of, it looks like shiplap almost, like this kind of cool wood grain pattern. And then this one here, the dyes will cut out the pots on here, okay? So we've got some dyes, and I love that Stampin' Up! does this now. So it just increases the versatility of all of your dyes because you can cut out images, but you can also cut out the um, some of the images on the, sorry, you can cut out stamped images, but you can also cut out the images on your DSP. So I think that's super cool. I love that you can do that. Here's another one that you can do that with. Okay, so you can actually, if you don't feel like stamping, you can just die cut the pots right out of the designer series paper. And you can do that with some of the leaves too. So on the other side has this really cool gray, uh, I think this is gray granite, this really cool gray leafy pattern, very sort of tropical. And I love the colors of it. This was really good for Father's Day cards. Um, and then we've got this one here, this really gorgeous tropical leafy, all sorts of different shades of green. And then on the other side, we have this gray brick layer, which is amazing. I really like, I, I think I might end up probably buying another three packs of this paper because I just love it so much. Now here's one where you can use the dies to cut out some of these leafy images that I had talked about. And on the back side, you've got again, this wood grain paper. So it's really neat how they've done these um, versatile patterns that can be used for so many different kinds of occasions. And I think really lend themselves nicely to masculine cards. I, I actually struggle a lot with masculine cards, but I have found with this paper, like the brick layer and the leafy images, like it's made making masculine cards way more fun for me. So we've got that one there. And then we've got this one. Um, and then on the back side, there's sort of this like concrete looking um, background. So really, really awesome papers in here. I love them. And so that's also included in the suite. And then the last item is the paper lattice, which is, um, hang on, I better move this. I'm just going to get myself organized here so that I don't lose stuff. So this is the paper lattice here. You get a package of 10. That's also included in this bundle. And you have this, it's like really amazingly sturdy. So it looks like it would be really delicate, but it's actually quite sturdy. It's pretty thick and just creates this really cool background and you can use it in different ways. So this is a card that I had done on a Facebook Live a few weeks ago and you can see the paper lattice. I used it as a full piece on the background. So really, really cool. So anyway, now that we've done that, um, we are going to get started with some crafting. Now, before I do that, I want to tell you really quickly about a about my card club. Okay, so every month I do a card club and I will design projects. And then it's usually four cards, uh, two of each. And this was from my April card club, I believe. So I'm just gonna show you a sample of what it looks like. So I design cards and then I cut and package uh, materials so that you can make two of each. This also includes about 20 to $25 in product. So you, in this particular one, everyone got the elegant faceted gems and they got a roll of linen thread and they got some of, I think they might've gotten a full pack of designer series paper. So this is just a sample sampling of what um, one of my card clubs look like and this is what everything looks like all packaged up so you can see that we've got the gems we've got the linen thread we have the designer series paper and then all of the make and takes are included okay so you can see you get two of each packet so this is a really convenient and easy way to get crafting all the designing is done for you so if you're you know um, busy 
lazy or you just don't feel like you have the mojo flowing, this is a really, really great way to do that. And when you subscribe to my club for six months, you get a $25 product credit for free, okay? So uh, my club for this month is featuring the Party Puppins. And I'm just going to show you a sampling of some of the cards. So we've got um, this one here. These are kind of sneak peeks. Maybe they'll change a little bit. But you can see here, these are a couple of cards that I designed for an event yesterday using the Party Puffins. So this one is going to be really bright and fun and lend itself really nicely to birthday cards, which are good for any occasion, or sorry, any age, any gender. Um, and so this is what our club is going to look like this month. So the deadline to get in on that is the 20th of the month, and I will post a link in the description. You can definitely try it out for one month. I call it a club only because there are benefits for people that subscribe six months in a row. But if you do feel like you want to just try it out for a month, you can absolutely do that. So I will have um, some giveaways and prizes and new to the club, I will actually be opening up a exclusive Facebook group where there'll be some um, just some inspiration and ideas and things like that in there. Thanks Janice. Janice is part of the card club. She has been since it started so um, I really appreciate you Janice and I love having you in our card club. Okay let's talk about what we're making today. Here's my card. I know you guys like to have a little bit of a sneak peek. You're like me. You don't love surprises. So I am going to just show you for a quick second and then I'm going to move it away. And um, this one, like I said, has a few different layers and pieces that we're going to be using. So I'm using Soft Succulent, which is one of our new in colors. I think that this color is beautiful for this particular bundle. And then I've got a piece of designer series paper and I did write out the measurements here for you. So the card base measures four and a quarter by 11. And then we've got this layer here, which measures four by five and a quarter. And then we've got a piece of designer series paper that measures two and three three quarters by four and a quarter. And then I've got a small piece of basic white cardstock, which is going to be the backdrop for my, my plant. Okay. Then I've got some other little additional scraps and pieces here. And we'll get started with our actual stamping and die cutting. I've got some washi tape here because this is going to help me hold my dies in place. And washi tape is not supposed to tear your cardstock, but of course, because I'm doing a Facebook live, it's Murphy's law. So I'm going to avoid that little spot there. So I've taken out my um, the stamps that I'm going to be needing and we'll do our stamping and die cutting and all our kind of cutting and embossing work first. Okay, so let me first start with my soft succulent ink here and I'm going to use my leafy image here and I'm going to stamp that on an angle so I can avoid that part that I just ripped here, okay? And then I'm going to use my cinnamon cider ink. I think I'm done with this, so I can probably put this away. I'm gonna use my cinnamon cider ink and I'm gonna stamp the clay pot, okay? And I'm just gonna stamp again the side where I did that little boo-boo here. So that's it for that one. And then I'm gonna use my garden green you could use the same green um, for all of your plants. I'm just, you know, because I'm a collector and I have all the different ink colors, I'm going to use them. Um, so I'm going to stamp that here and we're going to die cut all of these pieces. And then the last bit of stamping I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my thank you and stamp that just at the bottom. I'm just gonna move this down for a second so that I can actually see where I'm stamping. It has to be pretty precise because I've cut this piece pretty narrow. Now I might go back in with um, another stamp after when, I'm, when I know where I'm gonna be positioning my plant hanger. So I'm gonna leave that there to cue me and let's get our dies set up. So what did I do with my dies? Here we go. You're going to have a, a word with Murphy one day, Denise. That's awesome. Okay, a snake plant that you just, that I just stamped is easy to keep alive as our spider plants. Okay, that's really good to know. Snake plant, spider plant. Aviv, are you listening? Are you interested in trying to keep some plants alive? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just put my washi tape there. 
I also sometimes use my post-it tape just to, you know, hold things in place. Now, where did I, where did my little clay pot go? Yeah, of course I would lose it right before I need to use it. There it is. I cannot wait. So um, here in Ontario, we have been in lockdown and all of our stores, um, well, we have not been able to buy what's considered non-essential products. So I, I beg to differ because I feel like magnet sheets are essential. Okay, they're not essential for survival, but as a crafter for, you know, not losing dyes, I think the magnet sheets are really important. So I am super excited now because as of Friday, we are now able to go into stores and purchase non-essential items. And so I am hitting the dollar store today and I'm getting my magnet sheets. I've already planned it with my daughter. We're gonna go on a little Dollarama date and we're gonna buy uh, magnet sheets for all the new dyes that I've gotten from the new catalog. <laughs> They're like, this is what happens. They slide around everywhere. So what I do is I cut a magnet sheet that's the same uh, size as this cardboard piece and then I transfer everything onto the magnet sheet and then it actually just stays stuck down and I don't lose them. Um, Janice, you're saying, I only know these two because my mom had lots in the house, lots of house plants. And when she went into long-term care, those two were the only ones that were still alive after months. Okay. That's really good to know. Um, thank you for sharing that. Okay. So here we go. Let me get my cut and emboss machine. You can see I have some little pieces stuck down here from when I did my sample card. So we are going to start by putting down this piece here and I can actually fit it like that. And then let's see if I can do multiple at once. Yeah, I can probably do all of my die cutting at once. So this is a really cool one. This is like a macrame um, hanging, hanging plant holder thing. So macrame is also making its way back. It's becoming trendy again. And uh, so it's really cool. I love everything about this bundle. And my friend Jamie and I are actually doing a stamp camp in a box with this whole bundle. So um, I'll be posting details about that. So this stamp camp in a box basically means that you can actually do all of the uh, card making and paper crafting at your own pace, at your own time, in your choice of location. So if you're up at the cottage, you can take the crafting with you there and, um, you know, get all of your projects made. And uh, let me see now. Hold on. I need to find my specialty plate for the embossing folder so here we go I'm gonna actually do my texture embossing while I have my cut and emboss machine here I love this machine this is probably my most used tool because it will die cut and it will add texture using these embossing folders um, Celia they're in the uh, the photo section like wherever they sell the photo frames is where I usually get the magnet sheets and I wish I had a sample to show you they they come in like one long sheet I think it's um, maybe six or seven inches by 14 like so it's kind of it's kind of about this size so it's one long magnet sheet so I often will cut them in half and then I can use them in two different die sets and um, they're so handy and I will uh, I'll take a picture and send it to you when I when I actually go all right so we've got our die cutting done we've got our embossing can we talk for a second about this gorgeous macrame embossing folder so this is a 3d embossing folder which means that it's got a little bit of a thickness to it but it also creates in addition to this embossed side you also have a debossed side so you can actually choose which side you want to use on your card and both look lovely so this is new in our annual catalog and it's gorgeous all right so let me move these to the side because i will for sure lose them and we're going to get all our little bits and bobs sorted so that we can start assembling. Okay, so I've got my little clay pot here. And then I've got my snake plant. And then I have, I don't know what this is called. I will learn it, but I don't know what it's called yet. 
Okay, I'm just gonna pop all of that aside and then let's start to assemble our little plant. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use some liquid glue here and I'm just gonna put a strip of glue like that and then I'm just going to layer these plants. So I'm just going to start with this one here because this is the smallest, so I want this to, to show. And then I think I'm gonna go with the snake plant here. Okay, so this is gonna just stay straight up. I don't know if like in real indoor gardening you would actually put so many plants in one in one pot but you know what we're just gonna go with it we're just gonna go with it okay so I didn't want to choose the plants choose from all the plants so I just did them all okay so now we're going to um, add some liquid glue to our uh, sorry the macrame plant hanger um, and so I'm just going to, I'm using my silicone craft sheet here because this will prevent me from getting glue all over my surface. So I'm just going to put a little dot of glue kind of all over here. Okay. And then while I'm leaving that upside down, I'm just going to take my little arrangement of plants and I'm just going to layer that onto here. So you can see I just moved a little bit of the glue onto the silicone craft sheet and I can just go ahead and rub that right off later once it's dry. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip that around and just readjust it a little bit and just hold it down for a few seconds while the liquid glue does its, does its job. Okay, and then that <clears throat> is looking pretty good. And I'm actually gonna snip this part off here because I want it to fit on my, um, actually, maybe it could work here. I guess it's okay if it extends a little bit. That's kind of cute. Maybe we're gonna leave it. On my original, I had cut that off, but I think it actually looks okay. So I'm gonna take my mini dimensionals and pop a few on the back here and stick that down. Oh, hold on. Remember I said I was gonna use another, okay. So we're gonna put this here. Now I want to actually use this, is this called a pearl necklace, I think? I think I had heard that last time. So I just wanna sh want it to look like it's in the back of the pot and it's just extending down. So I'm gonna actually move this and set that down here for a second and grab my soft succulent and I'm actually going to stamp it off because I want it let me just put my finger here I don't want it too intense I don't want the color too intense I want it to look like it's in the background so it looks it gives it a little bit of depth okay so now I'm just going to take off the backings of the dimensionals Are you guys seeing where this is going? Isn't this kind of cute? <clears throat> and we're just going to position that right there. Is that centered? That's not really centered. Hold on. Okay. That's better. Okay. Um, all right. So let's start to assemble this pretty little thing. Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Joy. Okay, I certainly can. If the pot is big enough, I can create a be beautiful visual. Denise, I feel like I'm going to have to get in touch with you <laughs> to get some tips between you and Janice. You guys can walk me through this. Um, so I'm just going to use my Seal Plus. Now, one of the things... Oh, see? I'm doing that again. I was about to share a tip with you about not tearing your cardstock when you are using this on an embossed piece of cardstock. So sometimes what you see um, just happened happens and it tears the cardstock. And that usually happens when I've put too much pressure. So if you're pressing down too hard using the Seal Plus, it can possibly tear the fibers of your cardstock because it is that sticky. Um, so when you are planning to do it that way, you just want to use light pressure and um, that will hopefully prevent or reduce the tearing. Okay, so just a little bit of pressure. You can even hold it 
this way if that's easier. So the way you would kind of hold a pen, you can hold it that way and that helps you get the angle right. And uh, yeah, that should hopefully solve that issue. I'm gonna use my liquid glue on this because I've um, already got some layers on here. So you could still use your CL Plus or your tape runner or whatever it is you're using. <clears throat> you could also layer this on another um, set of dimensionals if you wanted. So that is kind of the, the majority of the card done. So we've got our, you know, the base of our card is done. So now I'm just going to add some embellishments. So tell me what you guys think so far. Where is my <clears throat> Baker's Twine? So we've got the Baker's Twine Combo Pack. There are five different colors in here. For this card, I'm using gray granite because I used it on the um, the macrame hanger. And I'm just gonna tie a bow here. And, hang on, there we go. And we'll just snip that off. I think I got glue on my scissors so they're not cutting as well. Okay, I'll trim that after. And then just gonna attach this with some glue dots. Thank you. Oh, Joy, didn't like it at first, but it grew on you. Ah, no pun intended. <laughs> That's a good one. Well-timed. Okay. So, so if you love this bundle uh, and you want some inspiration for it, you'll definitely want to jump in on our stamp camp in a box. So we um, will be doing eight different, is it eight? Eight different projects with this particular suite. So you'll get, there'll be six cards and there'll be two alternatives. So not necessarily cards, like traditional cards. Um, and so the all of the designing will be done for you. The cutting will be done for you. There'll be about $50 Canadian in product included in there, as well as a couple of pillow gifts and an exclusive bag, um, you know, that might be plant themed. I can't promise, but you know, we've got some things in the, in the motion, in motion right now. And, um, so that's the deadline to register for that is July 9th. And you can, or you can add on the bundle, um, at a discount if you'd like. And so then you will be well set for creating a variety of different projects. Where do I want this? Do I want that there? Yeah. Um, for a variety of different projects using this bundle. So I know that that's something that people struggle with when you see a particular bundle or stamp set or suite in the catalog. You look at it and you're like, I'm not sure what I would do with that. So this um, stamp camp in a box will definitely solve that problem for you. It'll be so convenient so you don't actually have to be available at a specific time to um, complete the projects. You can just do it at your own pace. So you can do you know, one a day or you can do them all in one day while you're sitting on your deck at the cottage or in your backyard, that kind of thing. So I'm super excited about it and I'm partnering with my friend Jamie from Stampin Up, Stamp It Up with Jamie. And um, she's a beautiful and talented card maker. So that is the card. I make tying bows look so easy. Cause that's something people struggle with because I'm more than happy to show you what I do. I. Um, so I'm right-handed, so I will keep my ribbon or my roll of twine in my right hand. And then <clears throat> I will kind of grasp it with my um, thumb and my index finger on my left hand. And then I just make a loop, okay? So I'm holding that there and pinching it between these two fingers. And then I'm going to take this um, part here and wrap it. I'm going to go from the back and wrap it around my left index finger. And then I've created a little bit of a hole here. So when I do that, then I can pull the bow through. Now, if you look at that, that looks really cringy. <laughs> it's so lopsided. So the trick with making bows, especially with twine, is to hold the knot. Okay, so I'm just holding onto the knot. I haven't pulled it tight yet. So I'm holding the knot and pulling the tail. And then I'm just kind of playing around with the loops. And now I've got it to the size and shape that I want. So now I can snip the ends like that, right? And then you can continue playing with it. So once you stick it down, just the trick is I think putting your finger on the knot and just kind of pulling and just making sure that um, you've got it to the size that you want it to be. 
Okay, so hopefully that helps. I do think practice helps if you do it more often. I was saying yesterday at our event that I think I've tied over a thousand bows now in my eight years of stamping. So it certainly feels a bit easier now. Um, all right, so let me put this straight and then I'm gonna go back and read the comments. I, you know what really gets me, and I'm sure that some of you probably feel this way too, is I look at my screen and then I see that my grid paper is all crooked and it makes me, I don't know. I don't know why that bothers me, but um, all right. I'm just going to read some of the comments. Thank you, Aviva. Janice, I'm so happy you've registered for Stamp Camp in a Box. I hope that you love it. We've had so much fun creating for it. Um and Denise, it is kind of wild that you are a gardener and you haven't ordered this bundle. But maybe because you're getting so much love from your real life plants, maybe you don't need to fill that void like I do. Um, I hope that was helpful for you, Tanya. Oh, thanks, Joy. I'm glad that you like it. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, Aviva. I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> Janice French, you have the best comments. You done gone and use that nice pattern paper and the new in color and I got you wanting more. Yay! That's always a nice compliment. Aw. Oh, Sonia, I saw that you got your first shot. I hope that you feel okay. I was talking at the beginning of my video about how I'm not feeling great after my second shot, but um, hanging out with you guys definitely makes the day better. Aw, uh, thanks, Margaret Ann. Thanks, Heather. Ah, oh, thanks, Debbie. You like it with the tassel and oh yes, that's actually yeah. You can see the difference with the tassel and without. Um, Heidi, you will love that embossing folder. It's gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Amy. <laughs> and sorry, Amy, I didn't mean to make the. You know, I know for those of us that are into paper crafting, our lists are already so long, so it's both exciting and stressful when we. Um, when we have to add to it. But I, I think you'll love this this uh, bundle. And I'll pull in the other card that I had made with it so you can see. And actually, because I've got a bow here, can you tell I don't want to leave? Can you tell that I want to hang out here and craft with you guys all day? One day I feel like we should just do like a Facebook Live marathon where <laughs> I just sit here and craft for hours because I literally could do that. Um, okay. I'm going to just stick that on there because you know what? It's cute and it's done. So there, we've got three. Um, all right, my friends, I am off to the dollar store with my daughter. I'm going to go and enjoy this beautiful weather. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. I will post pictures. Uh, my friend Jamie is always uh, floored at how I do not blog very much, but I feel like this card is blog worthy. So I will put that as well as more details about our stamp camp in a box. If you have questions about it, I know sometimes I have these ideas in my head of what things are going to look like, but I probably am leaving some details unsaid. So if you have questions about how it works, um, let me know. Please do reach out. And I hope that you, for those of you that have joined for our stamp camp in a box, I hope that you love it. And I will see you guys all soon. I'll be back here Wednesday evening with another project. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.